Welcome back, strangers. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is often regarded as one of the best video games ever made. However, it had a direct sequel that was much darker, much harder, and is often tossed to the side in comparison to its predecessor. This game is by far my favorite video game I've ever played. It is filled with dark overtones as well as terrifying enemies and stories. Today, we'll be covering the top 5 creepiest moments in Zelda Majora's Mask, so sit tight. Grab your Fierce Deity Mask and join us as we take a trip to the darkest moments of your Nintendo 64 career. <laughs> Number 5 Starting off our list, we have the main overlooming thread of the game. And when I say overlooming, I'm not kidding. Throughout the game, you have 72 hours to beat the game. Unfortunately, Termina hours work like dog ears, and in real time you only have about 54 minutes. What? But that aside, the reason you have a time limit in the first place is due to an unfortunate situation Termina has found itself in. The moon is about to crash into the town. But not just any moon. This moon. Throughout your adventure, no matter where you are, you'll see this giant creeper looming above you, getting closer and closer as time ticks by. There are a ton of quests and stories in the game, and with the help of your trusty ocarina, you can slow down time or travel back in time to help you. However, when time runs out, it's over. The moon crashes into Clock Town, taking the rest of Termina with it. You can run, but no matter how far you get, you will die a fiery death. But hey, no pressure. Number 4 Next on our list, we have an enemy that will give Mario 64 fans horrible flashbacks. Before the Water Temple phase of the game, you're tasked with recovering the eggs of a Zora who holds the secrets to accessing the temple. No biggie. You have the Zora mask to help you travel to an underwater pit where the eggs are said to be. First, you'll travel through murky water over and over and over until you reach the pit and explore the caverns that lie within it. But there's a catch. Most of the caverns are filled with giant eel-like monsters that will attack you if you get too close and try to eat you. As a kid, I was terrified. It's not like the music playing in the background wasn't creepy enough. Let's just add these giant monstrosities to make the kids pee their pants just a little harder. Luckily, you can kill the beasts, but not before developing some intense ocean phobias. Number 3 About halfway through the game, you'll be able to access Romani Ranch with the help of a powder keg. The ranch is beautiful, calming, and it's where you reunite with your trusty steed, Epona. It's a fun time, but as most players know, Nothing is as innocent as it seems in the Zelda universe. If you approach Romani, she'll ask you to engage in target practice to help her defend the ranch from, wait for it, aliens. That's right, the ranch is plagued by aliens that come to the farm and abduct their cows. It's your job to show up and protect the barn from the numerous aliens. If you do, you'll be rewarded. If not, well... Yeah, good luck getting that off your conscience. The next day, you can speak to Romani's older sister, who is lamenting over her sister's fate, and can eventually find Romani herself, but in a confused shell of her former self. But again, no pressure, right? <laughs> Number 2 Towards the end of the game, you'll reach Ikana Valley. To its defense, this level is built around the dead and creepy. But shortly upon entering the valley, you'll come across a house surrounded by Gibdos, the cousin to the infamous Redead. The Gibdos alone are nightmare fuel, as getting too close results in close encounters and restraining orders. However, the true nightmare lies within the house. After completing a mini quest that refills the stream around the house, the music box atop the house will begin playing, scaring off the Gibdos and allowing the little girl inside to venture out. My way! Attempting to speak to her will result in her running back inside and locking the door, but with the help of your handy dandy stone mask, which makes you invisible to all NPCs, you can sneak in her house like the Hyrulean creep you are. Upon investigating the basement, you'll find a wardrobe that contains the girl's mummified father who will begin to inch closer in an attempt to murder you. Upon getting close enough, the girl will rush in, emotionally hold him back, and tell you to get out. 
This scene took me by surprise when it first happened, and I'm pretty sure a piece of my childhood still resides in this terrifying house. Luckily, you can save him with the help of your ocarina, but not until you calm yourself down and fetch a new pair of pants. Number 1 The time has finally come. You've fought through terrifying temples, fought creepy enemies, and you've reached the plateau, the final boss. You're out of the woods, all of the disturbing gameplay is over. Well, never mind. Majora's Mask is the final boss of the game, and is by far the creepiest, most unnerving enemy in the game. Hell, even before the boss fight starts, it's creepy. First you enter the moon's mouth and find four children, all wearing the masks of the previous bosses you killed. Then, sitting by himself like the little emo kid from high school, is a child wearing the mask of Majora himself. You speak to him, and the fight begins. The first phase of the fight involves Majora transforming into a giant Roomba and sliding across the room in an attempt to kill you while the disembodied boss masks shoot you from afar. After defeating them, Majora grows arms, legs, an eye, and some sick dance moves. He begins to frantically dance around the stage trying to kill you while simultaneously beating his high score at Dance Dance Revolution. If you beat this form, Majora turns into his final form, Majora's Wrath. This form features Majora getting swole and developing a taste for steroids as well as growing a cute little demon head. He is completely sporadic and begins to grab and attack you with his tentacles that would make a Japanese hentai blush. If you manage to defeat this abomination, you've beaten this creepy game, save the world of Termina, and get a nice souvenir of eternal nightmares. What a prize! That's our list. Did you enjoy our creepy entries? Which moment disturbed you the most as a kid? Let us know in the comments below. Also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out our social media accounts and our other channel, Stay Strange. We appreciate your continued support, and as always, stay strange.